Gaming Bolt presents 15 most demanding sniping games that will test your precision. Let's admit it, we all love sniping in video games. Finding the perfect vantage point, zooming in on your mark, and then landing the perfect headshot can be extremely satisfying. And if the supporting mechanics are solid, sniping can provide players with some exhilarating moments. In fact, to that end, there have been entire games or entire sections of games that focus purely on sniping and the long range shooting skills of a player. Some do it well, and others not so much. In this list, we've compiled 15 games that we feel offer the best, most authentic, most enjoyable, and most demanding sniping mechanics and sniping moments in the industry. Of course, we do realize that there may be several such games that we have possibly missed in this list, so let us know what they are in the comment section below. Sniper Elite The obvious choice, and perhaps one of the best as well. The Sniper Elite series is built solely around the concept of being the perfect sniper rifle wielder, combining elements of stealth gameplay and shooters with some of the most authentic and demanding sniping mechanics in the industry. And no game in the series does it better than Sniper Elite. The level of authenticity and how demanding the sniping mechanics of the game are can, perhaps, turn a few people off. But the joy of watching your bullet go through an enemy's eyeball and then shatter his skull for a distance of hundreds of feet in slow motion is undeniably gratifying. Hitman 2016's episodic Hitman reboot did wonders for the franchise, introducing great new stealth mechanics and extremely varied emergent gameplay. One of the best ways of taking out your targets in the game was to snipe them from long distances. Sniping has long been one of the series' strengths, and that didn't change with Hitman. While the rest of the shooting mechanics in the game were a bit of a step down as compared to the preceding Absolution, sniping in the game was an absolute blast. Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain With the plethora of customization and tweaking mechanics offered for all sorts of weapons in The Phantom Pain, shooting, tweaking, and personalizing is incredible in this game for just about any gun, but it's even truer for sniper rifles. Sniping mechanics have always been strong in Metal Gear Solid games and they only became better in The Phantom Pain. The sniper rifle boss battle with Quiet, just like the battle with The End in Metal Gear Solid 3, is a perfect advert for how great sniping mechanics were in this game. Battlefield 4 Battlefield 4 slipped under the radar to an extent, especially when you compare it to Battlefield 3 and last year's Battlefield 1. But there's no denying that the game features some incredible shooting mechanics with awesome, sprawling, destructible maps to try them out in. Sniping in Battlefield 4 was an absolute blast, and the large size of the maps and their incredible sense of verticality all proved to be the perfect foils for a sniping enthusiast, with more vantage points than you'd know what to do with. The fact that numerous airborne vehicles and vehicles such as tanks provide balance to the proceedings just make the entire affair that much more challenging and enjoyable. Far Cry 3 Far Cry 3 focuses on firefights in open, large environments, unlike most shooters that were released during that time. And as such, reliance on sniper rifles in the game makes a lot of sense. Taking out an entire camp of enemies from a long distance, picking them off one by one can prove to be highly entertaining. Add to that the tagging mechanics of the game and the fact that the game's AI is surprisingly good, and you have some excellent sniping moments in store for you. Warhawk Sniping someone in a moving jeep or shooting down a plane with a single shot of the rifle can be exhilarating moments in any game, but they stand out more than most in Warhawk. A great game in its own right, Warhawk has some of the best, most demanding, and hardest mechanics for sniping you'll see in a shooter. Chances are, even if you dislike sniping, you want to try it out in Warhawk, and when you do, you'll probably fall in love with it instantly. Arma 3 Arma needs no introduction, especially to shooter fans. With all sorts of things to consider, such as the wind, your own aim stability, the distance, and of course the weapon you're holding, sniping is incredibly demanding and in turn satisfying in Arma 3. The fact that maps in the game are massive only make it so much better. Red Orchestra 2 Heroes of Stalingrad As opposed to Arma 3 and Sniper Elite 3, maps in Red Orchestra 2 are significantly smaller which means that numerous enemies with all sorts of weapons will be running into you should you choose to snipe, making things considerably harder. However, the taste of success becomes that much sweeter as a result. Finding the perfect vantage point and taking out your enemies while making sure you're not jumped by anyone you couldn't spot proves to be thrilling and very, very enjoyable. Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 Like the Sniper Elite series, 
Sniper Ghost Warrior places an emphasis on sniping. And while it doesn't do it as well, thanks to the fact that it fails to find the perfect balance between sniping and other aspects of gameplay, it does have some pretty good sniping mechanics. You have to take several things into account, such as wind speed, distance, and your position, making sniping a much more complex and enjoyable affair than in regular shooters. Operation Flashpoint – Dragon Rising The Operation Flashpoint series has long been one of the leading flagship franchises when it comes to sniping, and Dragon Rising probably leads the line within the franchise series itself. It has incredibly deep and complex mechanics which demand you to consider and think about several factors, and not just stopping at pulling the trigger. You need to think about the follow-up. Sniping your target isn't the end of it, and planning your escape plan ahead of time and then pulling it off with perfect precision when the time comes is perhaps the most satisfying thing in the entire game. Day Z While several people feel that the sniping mechanic was nerfed and as a result almost ruined with patches and expansions to Day Z, the standalone game itself features some of the best sniping mechanics in the industry, especially for hardcore sniping fanatics. Admittedly, it wasn't for everyone and warranted a slow, methodical approach rather than an all-guns blazing one, but it uses the numerous scopes and bipods and extra attachments and taking the perfect shot from a long distance away is incredibly satisfying. Unreal Tournament 2004 Unreal Tournament 2004 remains to this day one of the most dearly beloved and fondly remembered shooters and for good reason. Millions of people spent hundreds of hours playing this game, memorizing its maps, perfecting all of its innumerable weapons. And there were a number of people who preferred to go around the maps with some sort of sniper rifle in their arsenal. There were a lot of sniper rifles to choose from in Unreal Tournament 2004, and finding the one that suits you best and then practicing with it until you reach perfection is one of the things that endeared the game to so many people. Joint Operations Typhoon Rising Maps and Joint Operations Typhoon Rising remain a fan favorite to this day, for a great number of reasons. The maps in this game, for one, were enormous, and finding people sniping at you from miles away was always a danger, but it was also a threat to others. Hopping onto bikes or other vehicles, driving away from the heat of the action, finding the perfect sniping point, and then taking all of the shots you wanted through some incredibly authentic sniping mechanics made for an exciting cycle of gameplay. Sniper 3D Assassin Gun Shooter Sniper 3D Assassin Gun Shooter is an excellent example of how a mobile game can be free, offer great gameplay, and look good visually all at the same time. It's no revolution, mind you, but it offers some incredible sniping gameplay and a good variety of weapons to choose from across a variety of well-designed missions. It serves as a very good bite-sized, handheld experience for those who do not have the time or the patience for something as slow and deliberate as Sniper Elite. Contract Killer 2 Contract Killer 2 isn't a dedicated sniping game like a lot of others on this list, and what makes it great is that it offers a great variety of missions for you to play. However, the sniping mechanics when they do come into play are great and hold up very well. They're not incredibly authentic, especially not like a lot of the games we've talked about in this feature, but the sniping mechanics are neat and enjoyable and provide some great and thrilling moments throughout the course of the game. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Bolt, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.